Hello, everybody. My name is Christopher, and I'm the head of delivery for Cardano at IOHK. And um, now is a really exciting time. You know, we're getting very close to launching Shelly, and I'm going to be providing you with a series of Shelly testnet updates and um, taking on the reins from Demetrius, who did a really good job. Uh, and I'll be, over the course of the, the next weeks, providing you updates on how we're progressing. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize if the audio is poor. Um, I happened to be in India at the time when all the coronavirus situation kicked off, uh, and that meant I'm under lockdown still there, uh, and it's been quite a few months already. Um, but soon, once things are lifted, I'll be back. I'll have the, um, the good equipment again. So please bear with me um, for the audio, and uh, I hope you enjoy this update. Uh, it's a really exciting time, and I'm excited to share it with you all. Just over a week ago, we opened it up to our first pioneers, and they're currently going through a really good methodical process um, via exercises to prove the functionality, uh, particularly in the Node command line interface tool at the moment. So I wanted to give you some highlights from last week uh, and explain a little bit more uh, in some detail and uh, in, a, in a way which we can continue the, the story as we move from update to update. So at the moment, what we did this time is slightly different from the ITN. So whereas we launched it to everybody with the ITN and had everyone come in and joining, and that was really great, what we decided to do this time is align a very focused group of people to our development activities. So as and when we developed and released code, they would follow behind with exercises that were very specific um, to this piece of functionality. Uh, and what that does is it gives us the benefit of, again, validating what we've done, um, the checking through the documentation and verifying what we've done. And we're getting really good feedback that way. So at the moment, we've got 19 active pioneers and we've got a total of well, probably about 150 plus now uh, connections at the moment within our testnet. So as I mentioned, we're guiding these through the functionality via exercises. So what we're doing here in the cycle is um, once we've developed and once we've completed something, we're then creating exercises which use this functionality, uh, almost like a, a test case. We're having our QA verify them, and then we're giving them to the testnet participants. So at the moment, we've got four out of seven exercises which have been provided, which is all around starting a Shelly node, generating uh, Shelly era blocks, building, signing, submitting transactions, and the more, um, the more fundamental aspects of running a stake pool, you know, your operational keys and key rotation. Next, though, is, is the really good one. This is what we're really excited about, actually. So um, exercise five, this is all about state pool registration and delegation from the node level, so the node command line interface, not from um, the wallet itself. So the development for this is complete now, which is fantastic. You know, the guys have put in such great hours and such great effort to get this done. Uh, QA is currently in progress, and we expect to provide this to our you know, pioneers by the end of the week. Uh, which is tracking as we hoped. So now, because of that good news, we're currently working through plans and the feasibility of opening this testnet to more pioneers from next week. And so the reason why we're looking to plan this and look at the feasibility a bit more carefully is that as we have greater numbers of people on this test that obviously the demand increases for support and questions and queries. And so we're trying to make this good balance between development velocity, keeping people focused, on the next activity that we need to complete and also supporting those who are currently going through it. And we've created the great scheme. So what the original pioneers um, signed up to be is that once they've understood it, they've taken um, a social contract, um, so to speak, that they will then educate and inform the next group of um, people coming through. So we'll be working through that this week and that's part of the, uh, the feasibility assessment of, of what it's gonna take to open this up a bit more widely. I wanted to include just um, something which came out of one of the, the Telegram channels which we're doing there. So uh, this is just you know after the first week from a pioneer, um, and he's saying you know his opinion is that the code and documentation already looks quite well. Uh, there's a lot of functionality in the Cardano node and CLI. Um, some things to improve, but overall we're off to a good start. And you know, can quote me on that. So we have quoted you. 
Now we'll give you a little bit of a look ahead to what development activities are coming across the next weeks. And um, this is, you know, progressive elaboration of the capability that we'll build onto the testnet. So we have the Adrestia API integration. So this is what then connects to the node itself uh, and facilitates both uh, exchange and um, wallet integration. So this is coming up quite soon. Uh, we'll have to finalized crypto. Uh, so we're currently running with an advanced version of um, a mock crypto. In fact, it's pretty much as final as you can expect um, bar some additional security features. So this is coming within the next weeks too. We have the hard fork combinator, um, quite a, a thorough piece of engineering because we have a really complex challenge because what we're looking to do here is preserve the whole history of the blockchain right from Genesis. And so we have to navigate from you know, a Byron era to a Shell era and there's differences there. So this is the, um, the part of the capability which allows us to, to navigate across that hard fork and understand both Byron and, and Shelley blocks at the same time. Incredibly complex uh, engineering challenge that was the team of them. Fantastic so far. Uh, we have the ITN balance check. So this is where we um, make sure we double check all the rewards which people have earned on the incentivized testnet uh, on due to be carried across. We have the Explorer integration and finally dead list wallet integration. So all these are coming very soon. Um, that's the update for this time. We intend to bring this update to you every two weeks, so that falls in line with our development philosophy, um, every two week sprints that we're providing. Uh, and do tune in to the live show that's coming up very soon on the 28th of May. That's gonna be um, a, a good one. So thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please give comments and feedback and see you again very soon. <laughs>